The following DSP has been paid for by the Kojima World Order.
Okay, hello everybody. <clears throat> hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the premiere of a new game, Sonic Boom. Rise of Lyric for the Wii U. And I thank you very much for being here today. So let me give you the skinny. Let me tell you exactly what's been going down this week. Okay. Uh, first of all, obviously, yes, I am streaming this playthrough on YouTube. After yesterday being a smashing success when it came to streaming on YouTube. And what I mean by that is I got an overwhelming amount of people who gave me positive feedback yesterday when I live streamed on YouTube. I live streamed both Assassin's Creed Unity as well as Halo 2 Anniversary. And basically all I got was, this is amazing, I can't believe it, the quality is actually much better than when you were live streaming on Twitch. There's no buffering for, for us. It takes up way less of our bandwidth and way less of our CPU usage to watch the streams on YouTube. People were watching it on mobile. They were watching it on the YouTube app. They were watching it everywhere, different places. And basically the overwhelming feedback was this looks really freaking good. You know, to which I respond, awesome. Freaking awesome. That's good news, right? That means that we've got positive improvement and when the overwhelming feedback I'm getting is positive, that means we're taking a step in the right direction. Okay? After the debacle we had on Tuesday, where we were basically told, uh, you know, on Twitch TV, sorry, you need to lower your bitrate or you can't stream here. To which I said, but then the stream will look like crap because I'm streaming 1080p, 60 frames per second quality video, which is the future of streaming, let's face it. We're talking about the future, not the past. Next-gen consoles have this capability. Why would you nerf that? And I was told, too bad, that's the rules. Lower your bitrate. <laughs> so I said, okay, and I did. And the rest of that stream looked like pixely garbage, like I predicted it would. And I said, fine. Then I don't, you know, I don't need to use Twitch anymore. I'll find alternatives. There are alternatives out there. Okay. So, the one overwhelmingly negative piece of feedback that I got after my experiment day yesterday was that YouTube's chat system is a complete broken piece of shit. They never bothered to implement a real chat system. All it is is a modified YouTube comments system. And because of that, unfortunately, it's out of control. You have to mod If you're going to mod people as your moderators, you have to manually mod them every single stream that you do, which is ridiculous. They really don't have that much power. You can't even time anyone out. All you could do is ban people. The bans don't even really work. Some people just, it doesn't work for them and they just get to keep posting. People post nasty shit about sex and, you know, insulting stuff and just really nasty. Really nasty. And Google basically never gave a shit about you know, the, the chat on YouTube. They didn't. They did not give a shit. And because of that, uh, you know, they never improved. And this was the major gripe that I had years ago. Let me tell you guys something, because a lot of you don't know this. Back in 2011, when I first signed with Machinima, okay, this was a big push from Google and YouTube to get people to live stream on YouTube. And at that time, keep in mind, that was two, three years before I had ever even considered doing direct capture and live streaming, okay? It was in my contract that if I decided to live stream and I did it exclusively on YouTube, that I would actually get a bonus in my pay if I did that. And at that time, I said, well, I'm not going to live stream, so this doesn't affect me at all. So it really wasn't a big sign, you know what I mean? Some people, that would be an incentive. Oh, a signing, it's almost like a signing bonus. If you stream on YouTube, you make extra money. And for me, I said, it's not, I'm never going to stream on YouTube. So it's not, you know, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be a big deal. <laughs> so that was in my contract over three years ago. I'm almost positive it's not in my contract anymore because the contracts were renegotiated over time. And quite honestly, I don't even know if I make any money streaming on YouTube. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know if any any of the views that I get on these streams now count towards my YouTube view totals. I don't even know where YouTube breaks that down in analytics. I don't know advertisement-wise if any money is made on streaming because there's the ability to run ads. There absolutely is. Like, if I wanted to, I could control this stream and I could run ads if I wanted, but I don't get the ad revenue because I'm signed with Machinima. So technically, I have no incentive to ever run a commercial on YouTube. Right? I don't care how much money Machinima makes. 
So I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't know how this works. This is like a whole new world of experimentation for me. What we're gonna do is, you know, obviously what I'd like to see is in two, in, in two months time, you know, because everything is two months staggered, uh, when everything refreshes, I'd like to see, you know, am I actually getting these views for these streams and does it count towards my channel? Do I get anything positive out of it? If not, well then this is basically just, uh, you know, it's just basically fan service. Which, by the way, was always all it was. Fan service. That's all it ever was. Uh, you know, it wasn't ever me trying to make a buck doing it on Twitch. I explained this a year and a half ago when I started streaming on Twitch. I didn't make any significant amount of money on Twitch. There were never any significant amount of people who who joined the, uh, you know, the partnership program that it was like, oh my god, I'm making so much money on this. As you guys know, when I was on Twitch, I didn't beg for, for uh, subscriptions. I didn't beg them. For, I beg anyone for anything. Unlike these other Twitch streamers who that's like the whole reason they're on there. They're all... Oh, Show your tits and, you know, every time someone subscribes, play a fucking sound effect and stop the whole stream to, to give their name so they get a shout out and they feel like they got a fucking e-boner about it. I don't do that. I'm here to do a playthrough for you. I'm here to primarily make YouTube videos of an entertaining playthrough for you and that's all I care about. The whole Twitch live version of that and the interactivity of the stream chat and all that was always just fan service bonus for you guys who could be here live and I hope you understand that. I've said that since day one. I think a lot of people got the wrong impression. They were like, But Phil, you're not making money doing it. You're not. Making, you're never going to make it big on Twitch doing it the way you do it. I said, okay. I'm okay with that. I don't want to be a full-time Twitch streamer. And I think that's what a lot of people didn't understand. I don't want to be the person who sits here and only plays games to beg for do your donations and beg for your subscriptions. So I could care less that I leave Twitch and I go to another streaming service because I wasn't getting anything out of Twitch anyway significant. Okay? So, that being said, after getting an overwhelming amount of people who were very disappointed with the quality of the stream chat yesterday, they basically said to me, uh, you know, the stream chat is crap on, on YouTube. It's uncontrollable. It's just not good at all. Uh, you know, we don't like it. Can you do something for us about that? Because we do like stream chat, right? And uh, we want to be able to chat and interact with you. We like to every once in a while, if you're stuck, give you advice. During stream, sometimes there's interactivity with the stream chat. You react to something that's going on in the stream. Keep in mind, there's other people who completely disagree with that mentality. And they say, the stream chat ruins Phil's playthroughs. He uses it too much. He interacts with it too much. It doesn't feel like he's doing a playthrough for YouTube anymore. And so I'm not watching his content anymore. And those people left already. I got that last year. That's what I got all last year. How dare Phil's live stream? It ruins the content and then they don't watch the content anymore. Well, those people are already gone. So too bad. You know? Oh well. <clears throat> so. So, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're doing something different again. And I fully expect, guys, fully expect that over the next several weeks, eh, you know, there's going to be, uh, there's definitely going to be some changes and some some fluctuations in the way that I'm presenting my content to you all right because I need to settle into a way that works so let me explain right now I have disabled YouTube comments on this stream there are no, there's no YouTube comments so there's no YouTube stream chat if you wish to interact with people during the stream you can very well go back to my Twitch TV page which is twitch.tv forward slash dark side fill and right now there's hundreds of people talking now, a lot of people, of course, will say, well, how could you do that? How, how could you use the Twitch chat when you're not streaming? First of all, you can. The Twitch chat is 24-7. There's, no there's no limitation on when you can use Twitch chat. So, you know, it's always been like that. Most people don't know this, but Twitch TV chat is not Twitch TV chat, nor is it owned by Twitch TV. All it is is it's a plug-in built into their website that allows you to access IRC. If you don't know what IRC is, it's Internet Relay Chat. It is a chat uh, service that has existed since the 1990s, maybe even earlier than that. I used to use it in the 1990s using a client called MIRC. It is a series of thousands and thousands of chat servers where people are talking all over the world. And all Twitch did is it plugged into that service because it's a free service. 
and it decided to make basically chat rooms for every str uh, stream that's out there. So literally you can use the Twitch page to get to my stream chat, or if you have MIRC, you can actually find it yourself. Now I'm, no, I'm not up on the technology of it, I don't know what server it's on or anything like that, but there are people out there who know this. You can get to the stream chat without ever using Twitch. In which case, Twitch really has no grounds to say that anything's being done wrong anyway. But, nowhere in Twitch's terms of service does it say you cannot use the stream chat when you're not streaming on Twitch. So, if they have issue with it, basically the answer is tough titties. Uh, they really, in their rules, have no leg to stand on. Now, if they just decide to get a bug up their ass and say, well, you're not using stream to Twitch, so we're going to ban your account, they could very well do that. So if they want to do that, and that's what they feel like doing, fine. Because the bottom line is, I'm not. This is a temporary solution. I'm already working. Okay, I'm already working on a solution. I have someone who a lot of people don't know this because I haven't really talked about it. There's been a very, uh, a very dedicated fan who's been working on a website redesign for me. Uh, the website in the past year has been pretty good. The homepage. It's gone through some changes, and I like the fact that every day I can put up my new playthroughs with pictures and links and the schedule and all that. But there's been some expression from people saying it doesn't look very professional. Uh, we'd like a better looking web page. We'd like it to have more functionality, etc., etc. Being that I pay several thousand dollars a year to have the website maintained, I think that I probably should have a better home page. So there's someone who's already working on recoding the entire front page of the website to make it work much better. Now, I talked to him last night explaining all this stuff that's been going on. And I said, is there a way that we can possibly integrate it so that we can have my YouTube streams show up on the homepage like how right now the Twitch streams show up on the homepage? And maybe we can have a new chat, my own chat. Maybe it's its own MIRC room or however you want to do it, show up as a plugin on the homepage. And so every day when people want to see me stream, just go to thekingofhate.com. That's just your answer. Forget Twitch, forget YouTube, just go to thekingofhate.com, the stream will be live, and you can talk right there with everybody. So, there you have it. Uh, you know, that's what I'm working on right now. There's no ETA on that. Keep in mind, this is a, a viewer and a fan who is working on it. His name is, I believe his name is The Onyx. And uh, he's been doing a good job. He's been working on it for over a month and a half now. And uh, I've seen it go through several different versions, things he's trying to improve and make a big functionality, not only for me, but for the admins of the website too, so that it's not just me who ha can update stuff. If people have important stuff they want to put up, they could do it. Uh, so it's all being worked on right now. And I'm hoping that, hey, with all these things going on, maybe by the end of the year this gets launched, and then next year you have a one-place destination to go to, right, to see... Uh, to see all my content, that'd be great. That was kind of what I wanted during, you know, to begin with. <clears throat> so, all right. So that's that's the bottom line. That's what's going on right now. I apologize for a long pre-stream today, but I feel like I have to explain all this to you guys because I know it's very confusing. There's a lot going on. You know, moving from place to place already in two days. We've already changed where I'm streaming and where I'm chatting. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, right now, I do actually have the. Uh, the stream chat open from Twitch. I could see it. I could see what all you guys are saying. And I can tell you, it's a much better stream chat than what was going on on YouTube. It's way more in control. We've got our, our stream chat mods who are there and they're, you know, they're doing their jobs well. So, you know, I have no complaints. Well, I don't know how long that's going to last and I don't know if Twitch is going to freak out about it. I mean, I got some issues with Twitch. You know, I wouldn't have ever left your site if you were, if you were a forward-thinking business and instead of worrying about your fucking League of Legends tournament... Uh, and the other big guys that you push down everyone's throat, and if you actually cared about the future of your website, you would, uh, talk to me about something like a high bitrate stream, and, and figure out why I'm doing it at such a high bitrate, and look at the quality of the stream, and realize, damn, the stream is pretty good quality, maybe this is the kind of content that we should push, instead of pushing the same shit down everyone's throat, and forcing me to downgrade my stream quality. But that's their business, and that's their business decision, and they could do what they want. And I, uh, far be it for me to be able to, to complain because, you know, it's in their rules. If that's what they want, that's what they want. They'll have 3,500 kilobit per second streams. And they'll, uh, you know, and they'll never have 1080p 60 frames per second gameplay that looks good. 
and you got this whole next generation of consoles, all these games coming out in the next few weeks, in the next few months to year, that no one's going to be able to stream at high quality because of their limitation. And that's their choice. What I want to do, I want to be able to record at the highest quality and stream a pretty decent stream for you. And I can't do that on Twitch right now. So that's why I'm making these changes. That's why I'm making this movement. If any of you have seen the videos from yesterday, holy shit. Seriously, if you guys have seen the level of videos that I recorded yesterday for Assassin's Creed Unity and for Halo 2 in particular... Those Halo 2 anniversary videos are fucking amazing. I just watched back the last part was part 7, where I was dicking around on a ghost. I was trying to get a ghost to land on top of a scarab. And of course it took a half hour and I was being a fucking idiot about it, but I wanted to do it. I was like so determined to do it. The videos are gorgeous. I couldn't believe how good it looks. I was like, I can't believe I'm watching this on fucking YouTube. And I recorded it. Like, I feel like I'm out of place. Like, I'm not, I, I was, I was the, always the guy who used a camera to record the television. You know what I mean? I was the guy who was way behind on the times but because of the entertaining content people watch. Now I'm putting out the same entertaining content at an incredibly high visual level. And I was like mind blown. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> so anyway, whew. Let's get started here. Uh, let's get started with Sonic Boom. So let's talk a little bit. Sonic Boom. The new series of games and a new uh, cartoon show, I guess. I don't know if it's... I think it's 3D animation. Uh, you know, that is... Uh, the franchise of Sonic is, is moving into here. And a lot of mixed uh, mixed reactions to this one. Some people really just not understanding, like, why would they change the characters to look more human... They took away a lot of their classic, uh, their classic things, classic traits, and they changed them around. Knuckles is like a huge roided monster now. As you can see in my fan art here, one person superimposed Hulk Hogan's face over his body to laugh about it. So, uh, you know, I understand. It's a big change to, this, to the series. And will it catch on? Will, will anyone watch the show? Will anyone like the, the, the games? I don't know. A lot of people have been saying the games are kind of buggy. And, uh, you know, I don't know, I, I'm on the fence. I did not play the last uh, iteration of Sonic games. Sonic had a game, what was it, it was either last year or the year before, and I forget, the last Sonic game that I played was Sonic Generations, and I actually really liked it. I thought Sonic Generations was well done, it was a cool throwback to classic Sonic, and I really enjoyed it. But I didn't play any Sonic games after that, and I heard that a lot of people just panned the Sonic games saying they were garbage. And so now they're trying this reboot, this new universe, and I don't know how successful this one's going to be, quite honestly. You never know when it comes to Sonic these days. I think after Sonic 06, seriously, after Sonic 06, everyone's just kind of like, well, I throw my hands into the air, and if the game's good, it's good, and if the game is shit, it's shit, and, you know, you got to kind of accept it, because after Sonic 06, people lost, uh, lost faith in the franchise, right? <laughs> so, all right. We're going to be doing about three hours of Sonic Boom on stream today. Keep in mind, the stream is only 30 frames per second. I'll be recording all of this footage in full 60 frames. I don't know if the game runs at 60 frames per second. I would think since it's Sonic, it should. That doesn't mean it does. Okay, but I am going to be recording at the highest quality, and those videos will be uploaded to the YouTube channel DSP Gaming immediately following the conclusion of the stream. So if you miss any portion of the stream or you want to watch it in the best quality... I mean, and I mean it's great. 9,000 kilobits per second I'm capturing it. It's amazing. Definitely check the videos out on YouTube afterwards, okay? And by the way, tonight, second stream, we're continuing with Halo 2, just to make that clear for everyone, all right? Okay, that is it. Thanks, everybody. Sorry for the long pre-stream. I needed to explain a few things of what was going on here. By no means is this going to be our final configuration. Things may be changing shortly. We have to see what happens with the redesign of the website. But for now, this is what we're going with. Thanks, everybody, and let's get started with Sonic Boom gameplay. All right, what is going on, everybody? <clears throat> Hello, and what is happening? Good evening. Thanks for joining me here on the second stream, which is incredibly late, and I apologize for that. 
you know, obviously things happen. It seems like the Halo 2 stream is is going to be doomed to be one of those streams that we never start on at, at the right time. <laughs> I may be running a little bit late tonight. Uh, I mean, I'm running a little bit longer tonight is what I meant to say. In order to uh, make up for it, what I want to see is how long are the missions. Dependent on exactly how long the missions are here, uh, split up in the game is going to depend on... Uh, well, it's going to determine how long the stream is tonight. Let's put it that way. So, if it ends up that there's like two missions and they're 40 minutes long, I'll probably just do the two missions. If it ends up that there's three or four missions and they're half an hour long, maybe we'll try to squeeze those in. Okay, so it all depends. I don't know because I never played Halo 2 before. But uh, I am actually very much enjoying uh, Halo 2. Last night I had a blast with it, playing it here on stream. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it yet, the videos are live on YouTube, and they are in full 1080p 60 frames per second quality, which is pretty damn amazing. I have to say, I was not expecting them to look as good as they turned out. YouTube, for, for once, did not butcher my videos. I guess because I uploaded them in such a high bitrate that uh, they look really sweet. So, yes. Very much excited for more Halo 2. Yes, I will continue to play Halo 2 over the next several days. Uh, and, you know, until we beat it. I don't know how... I think I'm about a third into it. If I actually look at the mission list, which I'll actually look at right now, I believe I beat three missions, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten missions left, so I've beaten four or five out of ten... So probably another, you know, few nights we'll be able to complete this. And I'm very excited for that. Thanks very much, everyone, for being here tonight. Uh, as you can see, uh, basically what I did is I just let the YouTube chat go rampant tonight. I decided I wasn't going to actually bother with, uh, you know, turning it off. Earlier today I did turn it off, but then unfortunately we were all using my Twitch TV chat. And Twitch TV apparently didn't take too kindly to me using their chat when I wasn't streaming on their website. So they blocked it for a lot of people. Not that we couldn't get back in there, because we could. But I'm like, listen, if that's really the attitude that they have, then fine. Then I don't need to use their website. I'll just do other stuff. So for now, we're just going to use the YouTube chat. Uh, I am basically looking to do something with IRC. Okay, And what I mean by that is I'm looking to find some kind of a, uh, a free area on IRC, which IRC is completely free by the way, but I'm looking for to use a, a, a server uh, or a chat client to get to IRC and have our own chat so that no matter where I go, it doesn't matter if we're on YouTube or, or Twitch or Hitbox, there'll be a chat that's kind of consistent, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, that would be good, but I don't have that right now because I, obviously I didn't foresee any of this stuff, any of this stuff going on with Twitch uh, over the past couple of days. It was completely blindsided me on Tuesday, so, you know, I'm still reeling and I'm still looking. I have some good news. Uh, the good news is that I have con been contacted, well, I contacted Hitbox, they contacted me, we've been talking back and forth a little bit. Come to find out Hitbox actually wanted to partner me back in August, and I was like, what are you talking about? I applied for you guys back in August to be part of your website and to be part of, you know, your partner program on your street, on your website, and I never heard back. And then, of course, I checked my email spam filter, and there's their email from August saying, oh, yes, we'd love to have you. And I'm like, I facepalmed, and I said, ugh, because I might have tried them out. I really would have. I might have tried them out back in August when all that crazy stuff was going on with Twitch flagging streams and muting stream archives and turning stuff off. I definitely might have looked into it as early as back then, but stupid spam filter owned me. What else can I say? <laughs> what else can I seriously say, right? I got owned by a stupid filter and I was basically too stupid to check it, which I should have. I definitely should have and I didn't. So it looks like Hitbox is, is interested. I did have a conversation. Well, they basically sent me their take and they're like, listen, we're more than happy to see if you can stream at 1080p 60 frames per second, but we need to be sure that you can do it so you know that your hardware can hold up. And even if your hardware can hold up, there's no guarantee that your connection with our server will be good enough to do it. So I say, you know, fair enough. They're basically being realistic and they're saying, we'd love to have you and we'd love to let you stream as high quality as you want, but there's no guarantee that it's going to work. So uh, I'm waiting to hear back, hopefully in the next couple days. 
uh, perhaps I will be setting up with these guys and we'll be doing a couple test streams to see what happens. You know, worst case scenario, it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It looks like streaming over the past day and a half on Twitch has worked out, on Twitch, excuse me, on YouTube has worked out pretty well. And, uh, you know, most people are saying they can view the streams no problem on YouTube with no issues. And, uh, you know, it's better quality than it was on Twitch. To which I'm not surprised. I mean, let's face it, YouTube is under Google. Google has more money. They have more resources. They probably have more servers worldwide. And so you're probably able to get access to the stream a lot easier with YouTube. However, as you guys can see right now, if you are in the stream, the stream chat's terrible. It's uncontrollable. It's just out of control. Okay, so... There you have it. It's kind of a trade-off. And again, that's why I'm looking for IRC, uh, an IRC chat that we can possibly set up in the future and go from there. Okay? Uh, there's really not that much else uh, to, to talk about right now on the pre-stream. The only thing I do want to say is you guys are basically going to uh, hear uh, some rumblings that uh, basically a lot of the people who have been moderators on my website, thekingofhate.com, have chosen to leave. And that's perfectly fine. That's always been within their power to decide to do that if they wanted to or not. Uh, we have a difference of opinion, and the difference of opinion is, is based off of the fact that uh, they want the site to be basically this completely free place where people can go and say whatever they want. And, uh, you know, that's okay, and I, I understand that, but... For me to have a $3,000 website where I go on there and I have people literally saying things to me like, Phil, you hate your fans, and you're all in it for the money, and fuck you. And, uh, you know, I, I look at that daily and I'm like, wow, this really motivates me to want to go to my website when I see stuff like that. And I call out the moderators on it and I say, what are you guys doing? Why aren't you moderating this stuff? And, you know, I basically get smoke blown in my face. Uh, so we have a disagreement, and I want you guys to understand that I am appreciative of my moderation staff, and they've a lot of them have been around for years, but the thing is, a lot of them have fallen out of love with my content, and they don't watch it anymore. You know? They don't watch it anymore, and they're not in tune with my stuff anymore. They don't watch the streams, very rarely if they ever do. And, uh, I mean, two of my senior staff don't watch my content anymore. It's, times change, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, as times change, so do have to you know it's almost like a rotation of you have to keep in line with people who are, who are in line with your your content and what's going on with you and i understand that and uh, there's going to be people who i'm sure are going to be talking shit and saying oh phil's an asshole and blah 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 whatever i'm so i'm just so over it. i really am i'm just so over it. at this point what i'd like to do is either have a website that i can have staff on there that are actually going to be able to moderate properly so that people can go on there and not see five million ridiculous negative things or I'm just going to downgrade the forum so that basically they're going to be a basic use if people have a, a thing to talk about here or there and I can post up contests and I can get fan art from it and that's about it. Very basic use. What I found over the past year is having a $3,000 website is definitely not worth it. Uh, it's too much work. I don't know enough about it to maintain it myself. I rely on others who unfortunately are people who are individuals and they're busy with their own lives. So they don't have a lot of time to maintain it and it's unfair for me to ask people to maintain a $3,000 website when they're not getting paid for it. It's absolutely true, you know? So maybe what I need to do is, is downgrade myself a little bit and take a step back and say, I just need something very basic that can have basic things done. And I'll have a nice homepage. I do want to keep the nice homepage. And I think that that will stay. i am actually been working with a, an individual who's working on redesigning the homepage and who's also going to uh, possibly integrate a whole new thing in regards to wherever I'm going to start live streaming in the future permanently. And also another, you know, a chat. A chat that will maybe be my own IRC thing next to it. Okay? So that's the bottom line. Everyone's going to make huge drama where it doesn't really even belong. Uh, you know, a few people are leaving the website because they don't want to, you know, basically moderate it anymore. And uh, that's okay. You know, I'm okay with it. I'm saddened because there's some people who've been around for a long time, right? They've been around me and my content for a long time, but times change, ideal, ide ideologies change, right? And I, I would like to say this, that I definitely feel that today, in 2014, that I'm actually a much better person than I was way back when in 2010, 2011, when I first started doing this full time. I think that I have a more open mind to stuff. 
I think that even though I do fly off the handle and I have a temper, that I have a lot better ability to look back on myself and say, you know what, I admit I did go off the handle then and I apologize. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't used to have that at all. If you remember when I first started on YouTube, I was like, my opinion is the only opinion. I'm right and you're fucking wrong. And I refuse to see outside the box. I refuse to walk into anyone else's shoes. You know? I refuse to, 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 to do that. I was just a very opinionated person. Everything about the hateful truth. And you would see me ranting and stuff. And, you know, it, it, friend request ridicule. And I would make fun of, of poor people. Poor, I, I, I Not poor people. Unfortunate fans who were basically not paying attention to me saying, don't send me friend requests. And I would make fun of them, you know? A lot of which were younger kids, and I would make fun of them. And I look back at that stuff now, and I say, damn, I was a pretty mean person back then. And I think that a lot of the things that has happened over the years, including myself maturing, myself changing, going from being someone who lived by himself with his, you know, to, to have a, being a homeowner, and then owning his own business, and turning that business into what it is today, and being able to pay all my bills, and, you know, have two mortgages, and living with my girlfriend, things have made me mature progressively over the years and I I like myself far better in 2014 than I did back in 2008 when this whole thing started okay but that change changes a lot okay it does it people who were with me back then who or you know, I don't understand he's not the same person he's different now yeah I am you're absolutely right I am and uh ah excuse me and, uh, you know, I think things are for the better, right? Uh, you know, right now, as it comes to my personal life, and a lot of people would see something like, oh no, there's like, you know, 10 people on the forums who don't want to be forum staff anymore because they don't agree with Phil and, and the stuff that he does. But doesn't it make sense to have them leave and be able to move on and do other stuff with their lives than for them to be the people who linger and are always like, oh, I don't really like Phil, but, you know, the, but, but I'm gonna stay anyway just to keep the forums going, even though I don't even like the person who I'm, who I'm basically running the forums for, I'm gonna stay, you know, that's what I don't get. So, that's fine. I mean, I'm saddened, I, I'm, I'm friends, with, you know, I wouldn't say as far as friends, friends, let's be serious here, but I'm very good, you know, acquaintances, I've been part of these people's lives for years, we've had communications, they've helped me massively, I would've never got the website up and running earlier this year if it wasn't for the amazing amount of work that specifically Beachy and Hazard put into getting it up and running, and I know that. But at the same time, if they don't agree with me and they don't like my content anymore and they're busy with their own personal lives, Beachy himself just said, I'm a full-time college student now. I don't have time to do this stuff. It's time to move on. And I'm okay with that. So you'll hear whatever you're going to hear. The drama, the usual bullshit that you hear from the same drama-stirring bullshit. The t I, I like to call them, I'm going to call them this from now on, the TMZ on DSP. Because that's really what it is. It's going to be the group of people who we have to be drama queens and everything. We have to completely spin it negatively and blow it out of proportion to be like a gossipy teenage drama show. And, you know, I'm so out of that realm of existence at this point. I just don't care. I don't. So the forums are going to change. Okay. Guess what? Tomorrow the sun's going to come up. Tomorrow I'm still going to have gameplay streams. Tomorrow we're still going to have... You, videos on YouTube tomorrow. I'm still gonna be having. We're gonna be having fun playing games together. And as long as that's capable of happening, that's all I care about. That's it. That's all I ever cared about. I think it's when I stopped, when I veered away from that, and I said I want to have forums, and I want to have this, and I want to have a product line of clothing that I can sell, and I want to do this. When you get distracted from what you love, that's when you lose your way. And I think that's what's happened. You know. So, that is it. That is all I really have to say tonight on the subject, and that's all I'm going to say about the subject. I wish uh, anyone who, who's leaving the forums, I wish them the best. Uh, I hope that you find, uh, you know, entertainment, happiness, or whatever, wherever you can. I know that a lot of you haven't watched my content in a long time anyway, and uh, it is what it is. Sorry things didn't work out. Uh, I myself, uh, I obviously cannot run a $3,000 website by myself, so I'll either be looking for other people to help me or I'll be downgrading the site. And quite honestly, being the fact that I really didn't use the site much this year besides the Hardcore Gaming Season giveaway and fan art, you know what I mean? It's, I don't think it's too big of a, of a change for most people who watch my content. It's not that big of a deal. So, Alright, that is it. Thanks very much, everybody. 
and uh, I will actually be starting the gameplay right now. We're going to be playing, I think we'll play for about an hour and a half tonight, okay? And uh, we'll see how it goes with that. And, oh, like I said, if there's a logical ending to a mission or something that I'm doing, we'll logically end it. If there's not a logical ending, we won't. We'll see. We'll see how far it goes. Okay. Let me actually adjust my volume here. All right, so I'll end the pre-stream. We'll get started with gameplay, and I'm probably going to have to adjust the volume just so you guys know. Because <laughs> it's going to be too freaking loud. All right. The following announcement has been paid for by the Kojima World Order.